Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDF44 coming into another video. All right, we got some news. We got some Laker news, actually. Uh, Marcus All is going to be traded back to the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, we are going to be attaching a second round pick and cash considerations to this deal. And we will be taking back a gentleman by the name of Wang Zilin. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Wang Zilin? I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, this individual is a bruiser. A real bruiser. He reminds me of Drummond in some ways. Very much under the rim. Not athletic at all. But I watched a video on him and he had 50 points. He had a 50 piece in his, in his game. And uh, not a good free throw shooter. Not somebody that's going to be particularly uh, skilled or whatever. But a complete and utter bruiser. A real bruiser. Someone who's going to put a big body on big bodies and make them work. Uh, he's got a lot of developing to do. This dude's not ready to play in the NBA in my opinion. Uh, but... The Lakers can bring him in, put him in that G League team, or, you know, wave him or whatever. It's not necessarily about Wang Zilin. This is more so about the Lakers uh, saving $10 million in cap space. That's what this is mostly about, $10 million saved. Um, it did cost us a second rounder. Not in love with that. Uh, but we allow Mark to, to go on and, and, and get back to the Grizzlies, where he will probably uh, probably play there. Uh, this season just as a you know a, a last hurrah type of thing I mean that's his home you know that's grit and grind this is a big time uh, reunion for Marc Gasol I'm sorry he wasn't able to get a championship with the Lakers but of course he does have one with the Toronto Raptors so he wasn't exactly ring chasing uh, it just didn't work out man he didn't have a whole lot left for us uh, when I say play for the Grizzlies I mean not play at all but retire a Grizzly um, they'll do the whole hurrah they'll probably retire his jersey do a who big old comeback thing if 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 I'm sensing that the tea leaves, it's probably time to retire. You know what I mean? I, he didn't have a whole lot left for us. Um, he was healthy. His body just wasn't doing it. So uh, what a stellar career. One of the great defensive centers of his generation. One of the great centers of his generation. Um, and a champion. NBA champion. Uh, defensive juggernaut. Uh, that's, that's how I know of Marc Gasol. Stretched the floor as well as anybody during his tenure in his prime um, and even beyond of course he kept that and uh, you know it was it was a pleasure having him I mean uh, of course he started his career with the Lakers even though he didn't play for us early on we did have his considerations we did uh, draft him and trade him of course for his brother originally and uh, he made a heck of a career out of it a Hall of Fame caliber career out of it in Memphis uh, with him and Zebo and that uh, and Mike Conley they, they were grit and grind to the fullest Tony Allen all those guys uh, I really, really like their team. I like the makeup of how they built the team, and I like that they were able to keep the team together for a long time. They didn't get that championship, but we always understood that they were a contender each and every time, and that matters a lot. We talk about teams like Sacramento that didn't necessarily win a championship. You think about some of these other teams in the past. The grit and grind team was one of the better teams that did not get a chance to win that championship, uh, and I'll remember them as such. But Mark did get one. He's a champ, and... Uh, you know, he'll get to ride off into, into the sunset uh, where where he made a name for himself and ultimately will go into the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure Mark's a Hall of Famer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think he made it. I know for a fact Powell's in there, but I think I think Mark made it too. There are guys in this Hall of Fame, uh, in my opinion, and, and I'm, I'm sure others share this opinion, of course, at this point, that have just kind of lowered the standards a bit for other guys to be able to, 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 to join the ranks. Uh, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. If you earned your way, you earned your way. But I think some of the time uh, we just kind of allowed people in that maybe believe, maybe uh, would not have gotten in if we would have remained with the standards that initially it took to get in there. But there are a lot of things that go into that. There are a lot of things that are nuanced. And sometimes guys didn't get a chance to prove that they were as great as they were. It didn't necessarily mean that we didn't recognize it in the short time that they did. Uh, so with that being said... Um, I think Mark deserves to be there, you know, quite honestly, from what I saw, I think he deserves to be there. So, yeah, that's what I got, man. Um, I, I'm like I said, the second round pick, man, I don't love giving up picks when you are strapped for um, cap space. But what, what did we do? We created cap space, $10 million worth of it to be exact. And being that we're a win now team, this allows us to throw that money at somebody else or make a trade that makes us better and allows us to bring back some salary. Uh, this is going to get very curious to see how much salary the Lakers can create if this is what they're intending to do. Uh, maybe they're not done. 
doing stuff like this. I don't know where else they can move around to kind of create space, maybe give up another second round pick. I don't think they have much maneuverability at this point, but the fact that they did do this um, is, is, is fairly curious. I mean, we're so cash strapped that it makes sense to save money even if you're not looking to do anything. So this might not have nothing to do with basketball. This might actually have to do with cash. <laughs> we are well over the luxury tax. So uh, if the Lakers don't do anything massive with the $10 million, I would not be surprised at all. Um, but I do think the Lakers should go after a guy like James Ennis. He does have other suitors. I don't think he's getting a whole $10 million, but we should give him uh, $2 million for sure and get him on this roster to, to accompany what we already have as a stellar set of role-playing three-point shooters. We have a stellar set of those gentlemen. As far as uh, Wang is concerned, as, as I said, I don't think he's going to be playing for the Lakers this season. I think it's pretty pretty damn certain that he won't play for the Lakers this season. I think it's one of those situations where they just brought him in because he made the numbers work. Uh, from what I saw, he's an active guy. Active, active, active. I do not know from what I saw that I believe him to be an NBA player, though. I don't think that I saw NBA in him. Now, if this were 1993, hell yeah, get him down there. He's a bruiser. He's going to do damage. But in 2021, I didn't see a single three-point shot launched. And that is basically the name of the game right now. If you're going to be a center that's not overly talented in other areas, you had damn well be able to shoot the three. I didn't see that. And particularly the free throw shooting. Look. It doesn't help when they're, you're watching highlights and they keep showing you bricks of free throws. It would probably have been best if they didn't keep that in there because you could show me five missed free throws from anybody. So I'm not going to read too much into that, but he did miss quite a few of them. Um, so, I mean, look, there are a million prospects, you know, and there are a few spaces on the roster. So am I just going to give it to this guy? I'm not. Me personally, I wouldn't do that. But bringing him in the G League, developing him and treating him like a young player that can help us down the road. I personally think wouldn't be that bad of an idea because I always, always consider that size is going to be important. And if a guy has a motor to go out there and put up a 50 piece, then he deserves an opportunity at professional basketball, in my opinion. So let him do that. See what comes of it. You never know. Kind of remind me of Zubats a little bit. I saw someone in the comments said something along the lines of uh, um, even less athletic Andre Drummond. I'm rolling. It's kind of looked like that. Um, you know, he, he, he gives a lot, off a lot of, uh, of of a lot of different guys that were role players in this league. I think about guys like Ostertag, guys like that, John Amici, people like that, who didn't really play uh, big stats numbers, but were huge bodies that could just set really good screens and roll to the basket, and maybe catch a few um, good ones, good easy buckets in the paint. So that's what I think that guy can do and so on and so forth. So that's kind of what I got, man. My name is BDF44. Um, yeah, Lakers make a trade. Not exactly anything big, but it does create some cap space. That's all good. Congratulations to Marcus on getting back to the Grizzlies. I'm certain they'll do right by you. And that's what I got. BDF44. Peace.